SMT Nation, we back. Nation of pretty wild news stories here. Uh, one of the wackier ones I've seen in a long time. Former telecom manager admits to doing SIM swaps for $1,000. I'll be sure to link this artic article for you guys here. Bleepingcomputer.com. Bill Tulis. Link will be in the description. Ways to support us can be found there as well. Please do like and share this content. If you're new here, subscribe and turn on the bell notifications icon to never miss an upload from the SMT. All right, folks. So basically what I think is this former telecom manager is pleading guilty to some type, some type of a SIM swap ring. All right. And, and what they were doing is um, whatever, whatever was going on with this. Uh, the location was New Jersey. The telecom store manager has gone and put in a guilty plea for some kind of a SIM swapping operation in which, uh, I don't know, there they were, I think they named like $5,000 in Bitcoin payments, five victims of the SIM swapping fraud. Uh, I know that the case itself was being reviewed and overseen by the U.S. DOJ last week, and there was an ongoing FBI investigation as well. And, you know, the telco industry is really sensitive to this now, right? They're really watching this. You know, you've got port out fraud that's been happening, people losing their numbers, getting SIM hijacked or SIM swapped. And, you know, these scams are nothing new. We've seen them across the board at a bunch of different places. Now, why the telecom name has been withheld i think just because it doesn't matter like um clearly this was a crime that was being done on a personal level right the the, the store manager that was responsible for it uh maybe there was something you know there's uh I don't know, something within the negotiations between you know the the prosecutor and the defendant or something you know if you put in a guilty plea we won't tell your name or um or the, the name of the business i'm not sure how that works you know what type of representation that is but you know these these types of things are getting pretty serious and pretty bad and now you got bounties out here for these things or whatever this is pretty crazy uh i will tell you you know if i had to guess which carrier it would be in the past we have seen these things happen at t-mobile on several uh instances uh we've even seen it happen to our friend carlos s tech uh, on YouTube, we've seen it happen during live streams, live, right? We've seen the sim sim hacks and sim swaps and all that. It doesn't mean that it is T-Mobile for sure. I'm just saying I have seen it happen literally in front of my own eyes. So um, if I had to guess, if I had to put a dollar on it, I would say it was probably at a T-Mobile. Uh, it was a T-Mobile manager of some sort. Not to say it couldn't be AT&T or Verizon. It could be. Uh, just saying that we have seen it. There's precedence of it at T-Mobile in the past, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. What, what what really matters is that, you know, there are measures in place to, and, and ways to hold these folks accountable. This continues to be an ongoing issue. Uh, if you work in the industry, maybe you could chime in and, and comment, you know, if, remain completely anonymous, you know, username and all that stuff anonymous. Let me know if you have ever seen these types of things within the industry and how prevalent or rampant is it. Sound off in the comment section below. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.